Did you know that a lost cow started a branding revolution? And I'm going to tell you that story. Once upon a time, there was a village called Brandsville with only a small population of 2,500 people. It was known for its wide open landscapes and diverse nature. The town was successful and industrious and had four family run farms that had provided for the village and surrounding villages for as long as anyone could remember. Meet Farmer John, Farmer Jones, Farmer Ong, and Farmer Bunny. But one day, this idyllic story was shattered by the loss of a single cow. Over the course of an evening, Farmer John's prize cow had gone, disappeared into thin air. Then a day later, Farmer Jones's prize cow also disappeared. Over the course of the next two nights, the other two farmers also lost livestock. Each farmer secretly blamed the other. Animosity bubbled something needed to be done. So a community meeting was called. Everyone from the village packed the hall, each farmer claiming they knew nothing of each other's loss. As temperatures rose in the hall, a calm-headed lady stood up. Mrs. Watkins didn't speak often, but when she did, people listened. She said it didn't matter what happened up to now, what matters is how we can move on. With grumbles of acceptance, she went on to suggest that the farmers could mark their cattle with a unique symbol. The farmers thought about this together and said that they could brand their cattle and in this way they would easily be able to identify who owns what. Now if this were a fairy tale, the story would normally finish here. But this is only the start of this tale because what people hadn't realized is now that the farmers all had their branding, villagers began to choose which farmer they bought from. There was no real difference, but now villagers began to realize that Farmer John's livestock was that bit tastier. While his land was smaller than the other three holdings, it allowed him more time to spend with his livestock. He started giving them massages and let them out in the lushest of his fields. Fields that lapped at the sea. The grass there was fresh and green with a salty tang, giving the meat an intense, rich flavor. As time went on, Farmer John slowly invested more and more time into his livestock, which meant he increased prices. People saw the passion he had for his work and were happy to pay that bit extra. Most, however, bought from him only on special occasions, as while the product was excellent, it had become a little too expensive to eat every day. In contrast to Farmer John, Farmer Jones had the largest head of livestock with many acres of grazing land, but these fields weren't as lush. People still enjoyed Farmer Jones's produce, but they weren't willing to pay the same as Farmer John. His products became known as Every Day, a dependable staple of the village far and wide. The other two farmers fitted in between, neither expensive or cheap. They eventually began to lose sales as they didn't have a distinct story like the other two farms. They sold bits of land and diversified their offers. One became known for growing the best vegetables, with the fourth exploring how they might be able to create meat-like products out of plant-based substitutes. So what had begun as a story of four lost cows had grown into the story of how two brands with clear values and personalities had become the market leaders in the livestock market of Brandsville and the surrounding area. How was that? Is that okay? <laughs>